Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Code with Table. In this video series, I am going to cover all threads API and we are going to use Python as a programming language to perform all these APIs. And in today's topic, we are going to learn about how to set up resources. We will go step by step to like set up all the required resources for threads API and we will generate a access token. If you are interested in Instagram APIs, I already have a playlist on my YouTube channel. You can check that out as well. So let's get started. Let me show you the official Threads API documentation. And we are going to cover almost all these uh, topics in our video series. And in today's topic, we are going to cover overview and get started page so to make these thread apis work we need to follow all these actions so let's go step by step first one uh, create threads account so you have to create a threads account i already created one and added some details to test our apis next step is to register yourself as a meta developer if you have a facebook account it is very easy to register as a developer you just need to visit this page and in that you just need to click on this link i am already registered and logged in into that portal so that's why i can see my apps but if you are new you will see a login icon you just need to log in yourself and then click on this my apps next step is to create meta application so when you are on this apps page you just need to click on this create app Here you need to provide the app name. I will add same as my threads account. Click on next. Here we need to select access the threads API. Click on next again. And click on I don't want to connect a business portfolio yet. Now just click on go dashboard. You need to add your password. So our meta app is created. Next step is to create Python web application. And in that we are going to use Flask framework. If you are not good at this web application, don't worry. We are going to use a minimal web application and it will be easy for you. Uh, I will show you step by step guide how to do that and why we need this web application is there are three things we can do with that first one it will help us to generate access token in set of way books and it will also help us to like uh, add a threads login in our web application right? so how to do that here is the flask uh, website and uh, you just need to copy this minimal application code uh, i already did that in app.py uh, you can see it's exactly same you just need to add one endpoint for now right i will set up a virtual environment and start this web application in a minute but before that we need to set up one additional service which is angiro what is ngrock? ngrock is a service that we can use to make our application online. So here 
why it is useful because in meta application if we try to set up web books we need one web application which is up and running on internet instead of our local host and also to post our content via threads api we are also going to use this service and currently ngrock is providing free service to test our applications for this tutorial you can use that and how to configure that first you have to sign up yourself from this ngrock.com official website when sign up is done just log in and visit this page which is get started setup windows here what you need to do you need to download ngrock based upon your windows and i already downloaded that here that is ngrock.exe second step is to just add this access token of your ngrock account and how to do that just copy this command go to the folder open cmd here just paste that command here what it will do it will add your access token into this configuration file so whenever you start this ngrock service you don't have to provide any credentials right now our ngrock service is ready to be used now let's set up a virtual environment for this flask so i am going to use the same folder where i already have this app.py to create virtual environments i am going to use this ppnv package this package is very good to handle your virtual environments in python so please have a look at it I already installed that in my PC. If you don't have, you just need to run this command pip install pip env and that's all. When installation is done, you need to create a virtual environment with pip env and install. When it is created, we need to run the command to install flask. How we can do that? PPN will run pip install flask. So what it will do? It will install this flask library in our virtual environment. When it's done, it's time to start our application. How to do that? Is PPN we run flask run. Now our flask application is running on this IP which is our local host. Just copy that and open it in browser. You can see our hello world is here. It means our web application is working. So next step is to put this application online so it can be accessible publicly. And how to do that is in the same folder, open CMD, write ngrock http and our flask cap is running on 5000 port number so that port number now you can see our application is live and you can access that application with this url right copy that and open it in browser click on this visit site you can see your hello world is here as well so it means you can access this from any device from anywhere in the world. Right? Next step is to configure this meta application. So let's see how to do that. In our meta application, we land it to this dashboard. Right? Now click on this first one. Here, for testing purpose, we are going to use all these permissions. You just click on add.
when it's done go to settings we need to copy these two things which is threads app id and threads app secret and here in the redirect callback url we need to add that application link that we got from ngrock service right copy it here here mostly people are making mistakes that they are just pasting here and click on save and uh, you might get like you need to fill up all these details right currently our application is not a production one so you can add the same link here as well click on save again it will give you an error that please specify an auth redirect uri yeah? we already specified right but why it's still giving error it's because when you are pasting that it will show you a drop down menu and you have to select the uri from this drop down then only it will work right click on save now it will work yeah so our settings are saved next step is to add our test user as i mentioned here we need to add a test thread user yeah. click on this add or remove here click on add people in the last you have threads tester click on that add this thread account user id in our case it is here you can see your profile picture here click on that click on add so now the test user is added but you can see here status is pending right so that is our next step which is to accept the app invitation and how to do that you have to go to your threads account open this menu click on settings here go to account click on website permissions It is not visible. Let me refresh the page. Again, go to website permissions. Now you can see the invite is here. That this app is inviting you, right? Just click on accept. Accept. Remember, without this, you will not able to generate the access token. So it's a mandatory step to add your user as a test user in this meta application and next step is to generate the access token before that let's move to the meta app and finish two steps uh, you need to go to dashboard first one we already did by adding callback uri and a test user second just click on that Here it will show testing not started. We don't need to do anything. Go back to dashboard. Click on finish customization and click on yes, I am finished. Yep, that's all we need to do in Meta application. And let's go back to our topic, which is to generate access token. Here we are going to use this documentation which is get started and get access token and permissions, right? So I already wrote a code for that. I will guide you with that. First of all, we need two modules. First one is requests to make an API call and second is JSON to like print the request output in a nice format. I already saved my app ID secret in this JSON file. So I'm just reading that and getting these values. In redirect URI, we need to add this ngrock URI. Let me copy that here. Remember that you added this home endpoint 
in our meta app so you always need to make sure like in meta app and in this redirect URI, URI you are using the same endpoint right let's run that first step is to get authorization code and how to do that we need to build this URL and visit that so let's look at this URL first one is the base URL of threads OAuth second is client ID in our case which is uh, app id second is redirect uri which is this one scope in scope we are going to add all these threads api permissions that i already added it here by comma separation fifth is a response type we need a code that's why we just need to add a code here and a state we are not going to use that for now let's just build this URI now we need to open this in our browser so just click on that here it will ask like whether as a threads user you want to grant this app permission so just click as a and now you can see it is automatically redirected to our home page but now it has some code with that right so just copy that and paste it here if you have a flask app running you can get that code here as well in this window right so what we are going to do here we are just getting this code from this url and that's all now how to get the access token for that i forgot to add this url here so just let me get that So to get the access token we are going to use this authorization code and how to get the access token we need to make a post request to this access token base url with our client id which is our app id client secret which is our app secret grant type we are going to use this authorization code so that's why we are writing authorization code redirect uri the same as we used earlier and the code which is this code right so it's just doing the post request and remember one thing here here we are passing those parameters as a data right people are making mistake by adding this all details as a parameter but uh, we don't have to do that way we need to add those parameters as a data right so let's run that you can see our access token is here it means we have successfully set up all these resources for our threads api and now next step is to test this access token and I will cover that in my next video. If you have any doubts related to this video, you can reach out to me via Instagram or LinkedIn. I already added both links in my video description. Thanks for watching.